Hey, just want to make a quick guide about how I have this uh, Steam controller set up. Um, I have the mouse. Let's go to the menu real quick. Um, mouse region is set for the left pad. Uh, I have the region size a little bit smaller than normal. It's just a little more comfortable for me. And I have the vertical position, as you can see, a little bit higher up. Since in PoE your character isn't in the center of the screen, it's a little higher. So when I touch the left side of the pad, it's even with my character. Again, it's just a preference thing for me. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, I have uh, WERT on my face buttons. That's what I have for my auras. And uh, I have like a portal here which I can't use in my hideout, but that's how I could activate all my auras. Um, those four, the WERT down there for s skills I don't use too often. For Q, I have as the uh, bottom right paddle, so I can just squeeze it and throw traps for my Q key. For my uh, middle mouse button, I have as the right trigger, or right bumper, so I can cast that. And for um, the left, or I mean the uh, right max button, I have on the left trigger. So uh, just pull the left trigger to cast your attacks. To move, I have mapped to the right trigger. So you can run around with right uh, trigger, attack with left trigger, squeeze for a skill, and uh, you have three skills very uh, quickly accessed. For all the menu options, like your uh, inventory, character sheet, uh, passive tree. These are all on a seven button uh, menu, which I have down here, the touch menu. I have it set to seven buttons, and I have uh, icons for each of them. Uh, these are going to depend on what your keybinds are. Um, I have C as my inventory on my keyboard here. Um, so you're going to have to find out what your bindings are and then just place each of these uh, have them set up with what your keybinds are. For space, that is my close menu button. So you can see here I have that set as an X, so if I have a couple different things up, I can press the X and have those go away. I also have my map overlay there. Um, for all my potions, I just have them set to the keys 1, 2, 3, 4 on the keyboard. I have that linked with the right joystick or the left joystick, the only joystick. Um, I have um, it set to a button pad uh, style. So pressing down uh, activates potion one. Uh, left is potion two. Up is potion three, and right is potion four. For potion five, I have it as the bumper, the left bumper. I use that just for a quick silver. So I'm running around. It's very easy to to quickly do that. Uh, if I didn't say already, the mouse um, is set to mouse region, uh, not mouse. Having it set to mouse makes it uh, not as easy to go from side to side like this. Um, for the um, for control, if you ever want to refresh instances, I have it set to the back button, and then the uh, start button is for your traditional menu to put, open that up. One small problem I had was with the mouse sensitivity. If I'm doing region, it can be kind of hard to pick things up and move them around. So if I hold in the left bumper, it switches the mouse to trackball mode. So I can be much more, uh, much more precise. And then all I have to do is let go of the bumper and then it goes back to the standard mouse region. Uh, makes it a bit easier for me. I have the left paddle back here set to shift so I can squeeze that in if I ever want to attack in place without moving around. You could also use that um, uh, to shift click on any items you need to. You can hold that in. Makes it a bit easier. Um, yeah, I will show you for mouse region. Yeah, if you hold in the left bumper, then it switches just to mouse. So that's how you set that up. You just go into mouse region and mode shifting left bumper and set it to mouse there. I think that is everything.
Let me see. Yeah, I don't have the gyro enabled. I might look into that a little bit more later. Um, but that should be it.